and tell me tell me how it tastes. <laughs> That's some good stuff. Hello boys and girls, welcome back to Botanical Bites. It's the second episode and today it's not just me. It's actually a few people who are a bit smarter and cooler than me. <laughs> so we have uh, Mike and we have Thomas here also. Today is Thomas' birthday, by the way. Ha. <laughs> so anyway, we should be talking a bit more about the system, and uh, so let's get started. So let's start with just kind of talking a little bit about what we're actually growing here. Um, and let's start down here. We have some 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 thyme, some Indian mint, and up here we've got some uh, some salad here, some coriander or cilantro, if you will, some rosemary and um, some uh, oregano going on here. Actually also a bit of salvi. And um, as you can see over here, we have a, we have a bit more of uh, basil going on and they're a little bit further ahead. It's funny that these, this type of crop, they grow really fast. And, uh, and then you might notice some difference now if you go up to the other one here, where you see our more leafy greens and uh, these ones are actually also cilantro but the difference is that these were actually um, not from seed they were transplanted that makes a whole lot of difference and I mean let's be honest all the other trays here were also planted by by people who it was the first time trying it so it's going to be a difference in sort of how effective the germination will be so that's sort of the overview. It's mainly leafy greens, as you can see, and some herbs. Uh, so yeah, let's let's talk a little bit more with Mike about the system. So, Mike, let's talk about the misting here. Sure. Uh, well, to introduce the idea of aeroponics. Yeah. Um, versus hydroponics, which is a common uh, indoor and vertical farming technique. Uh huh. Uh, aeroponics relies on misting the roots with water and nutrients and mm -hmm. in fact dosing them with exactly what they need in terms of water and nutrients. Mm -hmm. um, whereas hydroponics would kind of fill up the, the reservoir or this, this tank with water mm -hmm. and um, rely on that uh, aspect. But uh, there are several advantages to using aeroponics, this mist that I'm talking about versus hydroponics. And one is that you have this very good oxygenation of roots uh -huh. uh, and you don't transfer uh, diseases and pathogens between root systems because when you're spraying, the spraying hits the roots and falls down and then it is drained out via this channel here. Okay. Um, and you could really viscerally see the, uh, the the advantages of aeroponics uh, with, for example, these root hairs here. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's very good light. Mm -hmm. But that means they're getting really good oxygenation. You could tell they're a little moist and dewy. And that's uh, how they're supposed to be? or Yeah, that's exactly how it's supposed to be in the soil normally. All right. Where, where plants tend to grow. Uh, I don't know if you know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Mike, let's let's talk about the electronic board here, what's going on? Sure, well, uh, the three main components here are the uh, pump, the accumulator, and uh, the lighting. Uh -huh. uh, we start out with the pump, which mm -hmm. is controlled by this toroid um, transformer, which mm -hmm. is converting the voltage from the wall to 24 volts, which mm -hmm. this operates on. Okay. The pressure that's built up here is accumulated in this uh, accumulator uh -huh. uh, such that it can be delivered to the enti entire system so the pump doesn't have to be running uh, all the time. Yeah. Um, the pump is controlled uh, on a board over here, which is uh, connected to a pressure sensor. Uh, so this doesn't have to pump all the time mm -hmm. because we want to uh, keep it at about eight bar mm -hmm. pressure. Um, and so what's, these are, these are Raspberry Pis? Yeah, the Raspberry Pi is the main, main computer here. These are actually uh, uh, custom boards okay. uh, for communicating with the system and the pump and the lighting. So pump, uh, it's hard to really see here, but yeah, the pump is this board, lighting is that board. 
Okay. Um, then the last component here is the uh, other transformer, which is converting the uh, wall voltage to uh, 400 for the LEDs over here. Cool. As for the lamps, we've got one here and one down here. So what's why these lamps? Uh, these are actually designed for grow systems. They have a uh, full spectrum uh, white light and uh -huh. red LEDs, which are good for uh, actually germination and other metabolic functions of plants. Okay. Um, and it's LED, right? LEDs, yeah. Cool. And they actually cast uh, light equally um, uh, to all parts of this up until a certain point. You can kind of see on the side here yeah. where they stop, to stop being so equal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but until that point, it's quite equal. Cool. Yeah. And so these fellas right here? Yeah, these, um, inside these boxes, there's a board controlling um, a solenoid, which is releasing the pressure uh, uh, made in the accumulator to all the misters uh -huh. uh, throughout the system. Uh -huh. uh, on the other side is a pump uh, to uh, drain the system yeah and it's also controlled on that same board and they're all communicating through this phone line back to the main system right who needs wi-fi right we've got the ethernet <laughs> <laughs> so so those are sort of the basics of of the system and um I mean, it's relatively simple at this point so what we'll be doing in the coming time is we'll be adding stuff that will automate it so we'll adding some kind of some sensors to tell us more about What's the temperature? What is the humidity? pH value of the, the water and the nutrients. And um, of course, we'll also, we actually wanna add some cameras so we can monitor it more closely and say, okay, how fast are each of the plants doing, uh, growing, and how do they look? Uh, and so we can sort of monitor it very closely. The, the, the end goal of that is to actually develop plant recipes. So you will not only have recipes of how to, to cook your food, but also for how to grow your food. Essentially, you know, you can push the, the basil button and then in, in, in two weeks from that, you know, you'll have amazing produce to, to just harvest. <laughs> so guys, we talked a little bit about the system today. And if you're interested in, in getting started with uh, vertical farming, just come down here to Calvary Boing, follow along on uh, the website and this video log, obviously. And, and then you can do like uh, Christian here did today, come by. Hi what? guys, this is absolutely awesome technology. I'm totally hooked. I'm gonna do it myself. What are you gonna I'm do? going to try. What are you gonna do it? I'm gonna build it in my basement. Okay, that's a good start. That's a good start. Awesome, cool. Well, that should be interesting. So uh, follow along and uh, I'll see you soon.